In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. And the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld His glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. And from His fullness have we all received grace upon grace. Greetings, this is Father Sam Moorhead, Rector of the Cathedral Basilica, the Immaculate Conception, and with it also Pastor of St. Elizabeth of Hungary on the Auraria campus. It's my joy to welcome you back to the Cathedral Rectory to a Rector's Report as we enter into the second week of Ordinary Time, and with it now beginning this, the Sunday the 15th of January. Let's begin this time together in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good and gracious God, Almighty and Blessed Trinity, we thank you for the life of grace. We thank you for the revelation of your love, O oh God, and for how you call us to receive your love, to cooperate, to pass it on, to draw other persons into it. Make us instruments of your goodness in this time and in this place, and let us come alive in our faith as we call upon the help, the prayers, the intercession of the Virgin Mary, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. So as we come together with a new week of activities, life, holy opportunities in front of us here at the Cathedral Basilica and St. Elizabeth, a couple highlights. This Sunday afternoon, Sunday the 15th at 3 p.m., we've got a cathedral concert. We've got the Gaudium Verum group, which often sings on Sunday evenings here at the Cathedral Basilica. They're going to lead us in an epiphany lessons and carols service this Sunday at 3 Father Mike will be presiding this wonderful group doing great works of sacred polyphony and hymns and chants appropriate to this time of the year. After Christmas, they're going to be with us for this concert and this time of prayer. So if you're looking for a way to prolong your meditation upon the Incarnation, to look at the good of the Epiphany, and to really deeply continue the graces of this time of the year, join us Sunday afternoon, this Sunday, at 3 p.m. in the Cathedral for lessons and carols focused on the Epiphany. Then, we're going to have a Respect Life Mass a week from this Sunday on the 22nd at 12.30 p.m. That Respect Life Mass will be celebrated by Archbishop Aquila in the Cathedral Basilica on Sunday, the 22nd at 12.30 p.m. On that same day, the 22nd, our Young Adult Ministry, Corda, is going to have a Pint with the Priest evening. I'll be speaking on the ever-timely topic of gossip and how we understand it so as to avoid it to live a life of virtue. That'll be Sunday the 22nd after our 6.30 p.m. Mass, more or less 8 p.m. That's for our young adults, 18 to 30-something-year-olds, in the cathedral basement, the hall after the 6.30 p.m. Mass. And then in February, we're looking forward to a special World Day of the Sick Mass, again celebrated by Archbishop Aquila. There's going to be the Knights of Malta present. They're hosting the Mass. They're going to bring holy water from Lourdes. The sacrament of the anointing of the sick is going to be offered. There's going to be prayer cards from Lourdes and also opportunities to fill out petition cards that the Knights of Malta will take back on everyone's behalf to the Shrine of Our Lady at Lourdes. The Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes is on the 11th, so this is the day afterwards. And as Lourdes is so associated with healings that are brought about by God's grace and Our Lady's prayers, we're going to choose that next day, the 12th, the 12.30 p.m. Mass with the Archbishop to celebrate the World Day for the Sick and to have a special Mass here at the Cathedral Basilica. So we've got great things to look forward to in the next few weeks. We stay very close to the Lord Jesus. We've experienced His love revealed to us at Christmas and the Epiphany. As we receive that love, His light, His love, His life, we want to now embrace it and pass it on to others. So I hope you get to do that all the more this week. For now, though, I'll give you my blessing. The Lord be with you. And through the prayers of our Blessed Lady Mary, and of all the angels and saints, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Have a great week, everybody.